How does joke website puts criminals in jail? Now let's see this. To the dark web. But then there's a and Tommy G, like and I do want to play some fucking video games. With its slogan, the dark web is not safe, but we are. This apparent murder for hire. Bro, why is this happening every time, bro? Y'all, I don't try to, man. That's why I don't check Discord messages, bro. Why is this every time? Why is this every time, bro? Like, do you know how to eat ass and take someone to pound town? My cat twerking, bro, help. What is he talking about? And the page's existence becomes even more puzzling when you discover that Rent a Hitman has been publicly active and available since 2005. How have authorities not seized this domain and prosecuted the people behind anything, this apparent contract anything. killing operation? Well, buckle up, because I'm about to take you all down one of the internet's most darkly intriguing rabbit holes. It's the tale of how one man's joke website ended up catching some of society's most dim-witted would-be killers. Stay done, man, charged with trying to hire a hitman to kill three people. Why would you trust a nigga that looks like this to begin with? Why is a nigga that looks like this to begin with is your friend, bro? I feel like, I feel like y'all ass just don't like, y'all don't look at like certain character builds and certain like shit. Like, what this nigga gonna help you with, bro? Keep it a buck besides helping you build a 4090 RTX, blah, 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 something PC, bro. Besides that shit, what else do you think this is gonna do, bro? This is the story of rentahitman.com. Okay, let me hear the story. Video is sponsored by Bespoke Man, Post. fuck your sponsor, nigga. If I can't say this video is sponsored by, then I'm skipping Yo, your Rent shit. Rent a Hitman all begins with the website's creator, California man Bob Innes. This is just a lot of uh, solicitations from people around the world. And I'm the webmaster of uh, rentahitman.com, your point and click solution. Yes, Innes runs rentahitman.com. During Bob's time in university, the man studied risk analysis. This nigga's teeth is very nice. The web the website that Bob purchased and created to advertise his services was none other than rentahitman.com. This name, Rentahitman, was a tongue in cheek joke playing off the fact that if hired, Bob was essentially contracted to help customers kill flaws in their own networks. He was what? a penetration testing hitman, if you will. I wonder if that's actually a thing right now. <laughs> How you gonna have a rent to hit man and just have like a happy ass family right here? Like how'd that work? Did I just get, am I in a brand? Is this, is this a clothing brand? Merch. Hundred percent satisfied customer. Nigga, if I were anything that says 100% satisfied, customer, don't care what it is. Pants, shirt, motherfucking gloves, bro. Nigga, ethicas that somehow say satisfied customer, bro. I'm not. No one is buying this. Whoever actually, do, and whoever do, bro, if you're just a bot, bro, I promise you, bro. Oh my goodness, you fucking bots, bro. Bots just piss me the fuck off, bro. Like, you're literally an NPC, bro. But after forsaking this project for some time, something strange began to happen. About two and a half years of not really interacting with the rentahitman.com domain, Bob decides to log into the email address attached to the website. And to the man's surprise, he had actually been contacted. Quite a few times. Didn't look like my English Bob had teacher. received close to 300 emails during the time away from his comically titled website. But as the man read through these emails, it became clear that not everyone was in on the joke. In these emails, some folks appeared to be genuinely trying to contact this rentahitman.com website in an effort to get people killed. Bob's first murderous page visitor was a woman named Helen Kaplan. Helen Can I turn off my lights low key? I wonder how, um, my fucking. How black do I look? Hold on. I don't think I look that black. Nigga, I don't even look that black, bruh. Kaplan contacted Bob via rentahitman.com in 2010. The woman claimed she was located in Canada and explained. No, I am black. Hold on. Helen's <sighs> email uh, was pretty long and convoluted. It, it, I can tell this lady was not healthy. 
let's put it that way. The woman continued stating that she had no money, no place to live, and that she was stranded in Canada with no passport and couldn't get back home to UK. Her life was essentially a mess and she wanted that money back. While he was disturbed by this initial email, Bob wouldn't immediately act. It wouldn't Yo. be until he received a second follow-up email that the man decided to engage with this would-be hitman solicitor. The second email from Helen was simply titled, Urgent. This ominous communication contained additional details about Helen's hit request, as well as corroborating crazy, information man. about her targets. Feeling confident that the woman was genuinely seeking out a hitman, Bob would reply, saying, Do you still require our services? Would you like me to put you in contact with the field operatives? Confirming her intent, Helen would simply reply, Yes. Bro, why do you... Bro, what? Niggas really called hitmans. Her full addresses and everything. Bob took everything he had to local authorities. His findings would make their way to Canadian law enforcement and an investigation was launched into Helen Kaplan and her rent a hitman messages. During the course of the investigation of the woman, police found that Helen Kaplan was actually a wanted woman with active warrants out for her arrest in the what? United Kingdom for various crimes. And after reviewing Bob's evidence, Canadian authorities felt confident that she really was trying to kill her family members. She was taken what? into custody. The woman spent 126 days incarcerated in Canada before being extradited back to the United Kingdom to face justice. This initial incident with Helen Kaplan made Bob realize that his website could actually be used as a tool to aid law enforcement and stop killers. And with this in mind, he decided to dedicate more time to the Rent-A-Hitman project. He would redesign the page, check the emails more regularly. Bob even adopted a satirical hitman pseudonym slash alter ego, going by the name of Guido Finelli when he communicated with would-be I don't think it's a tryhard, bro. It's important to note that when a superhero. Well, some of these people were trying to kill folks for the pettiest of reasons. Take, for example, Example, Danae Wright. Oh my goodness, bro. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who? Bro, who's like step auntie's uncle is this, bro? And this is exactly what I'm talking about. You gotta watch for people like this, bro. I promise you gotta watch for people like this, bro. Apparently, this woman had a vendetta against a handful of people in her local community. The woman claimed that she was the subject of mean-spirited gossip and wanted some locals killed. Danae Wright would email Bob's Guido persona and provide him with the names of the individuals that she wanted dead in her Yo, community. Yo, she has a mohawk too, bro. Yo, this bitch has a mohawk, bruh. I dead eyes have more hair than you, like, in 20, like, 21, bruh. This is not even funny. This is not even a joke. This is a serious matter of act. And this face she has, she, it's, it's, bro, she has no lips and she can't smile, bro. Using rentahitman.com, Danae requested that these individuals be taken out by using, quote, guns, bombs, this video is or actually anything not else that, that was necessary. Bad. After receiving confirmation that this was an the urgent fuck? request, Bob then reached out to the Oakley Police Department, who then forwarded the case to the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. As a result of requesting these killings, Danae Wright was later arrested and eventually found guilty. She was sentenced to serve Man. 34 months of supervised probation after admitting to criminal solicitation to commit murder in the second degree. And then there's a- 34 months because she was trying to murder a motherfucker? 34 months, all that she gets because he was trying to murder a motherfucker? But if I was doing that, doing that, the right, I'd probably get about 64 years with beans and breadstocks, right? Guy like Devin Fauber, a man who took to rentahitman.com to request the killing of his ex-girlfriend, her parents, and- Oh my gosh, you're fucking- this nigga's a loser, bruh. Look at the face card. I could I could just smell Hispanic. I could smell Hispanic in this nigga's face. This nigga was about to kill his ex-girlfriend because they broke up, bro. This is what I call a fucking loser, bro. A 20-year-old restaurant worker by the name of Devin Fauber found himself vexed at his ex-girlfriend. They had somewhat recently broken up after a big falling out, and Devin blamed his ex's parents for the disillusion of his relationship. Overcome with anger, Devin Fauber decided that he wanted his ex and her family dead, so he takes to the internet in search of a hitman and discovers rentahitman.com. Bob says, quote, This kid was so persistent. Again, I asked the two questions. He responded right away, said yes, this is the address. 
make sure you get the job done. He was okay. so persistent over the next 10 to 12 days. The guy saying, how come the job's not done yet? I've given you everything you need to know about where they can be found. Remember, don't kill the baby. It was clear as day this dude was really looking for a hitman. Following his normal protocol, Bob would then- Do these niggas think they could the get free hit? First of all, a free hitman nigga, where the fuck do you live? Where, where do you, where do you live, bro? I shouldn't even say that. Where do you live, bro? Russia, my nigga? You, there's no such thing as a free hitman by sending out emails, bro. This is not 1878. It said that in regard to the child kidnapping oh, man. request, he said... I, I think some of y'all niggas who, who watch me look like this, bro. I just swear, bro. I just swear, bro. I don't know who black watches me besides Mint, bro. Like, that's well, just sad. I could sad. be a really good father to her, but I need those three people taken out before I can do anything. In light of this confession, like, is there any Fowler black niggas, bro? Ain't nothing wrong with having white niggas watch me, but bro, half the times, eighty nine percent of the time, fuck half the time. Anything I say, niggas will not know what I'm talking about, bro. Be arrested on February twelfth of twenty eighteen. While in jail, it said that Falber unwittingly bragged to a police informant, stating that he was only going to get probation from his crime, and that when he got out, he would attempt to kidnap his ex's child. This obviously didn't help what? things when it came to his trial. In March of 2019, Devin was sentenced to serve twenty years in prison with ten years suspended. After right, but you're telling me this nigga gets sentenced twenty years. But the last white lady who tried to kill her family, who had a mohawk, got 34 months. Make it make sense, nigga. In December of 2019, Wait, a New Mexico high school student, 18-year-old Colton Beal, attempted to solicit the services of... Man, you don't... Bro, I'm letting y'all know right now, chat. If y'all have any homies that look like this, bro... Yes, man, bro. The hitman.com. In his communications, he requested to have two 16 year old Don't invite him over nowhere. His high school strangled to death. Colton would unwittingly film 16 year old girls from his high school strangled to death. Colton would what? unwittingly fill out two forms on this parody website, giving great detail on how he wanted his victims to perish, explaining that he had a sexual fetish for strangulation. Colton Beal was later arrested in Manchester, Tennessee, on two counts of criminal solicitation. On February 27th of 2020, he was extradited back to Roswell, New Mexico. Colton pled guilty in May of 2020 and was sentenced to serve five years of probation as a part of a plea deal. Tron hires someone to strangle two girls 16 to death with a belt to fulfill a success, a success, I'm about to say a successful fantasy. A sexual fantasy. Niggas like that are weird. You. You you have a sexual fantasy of strangling bitches. You got to stay away from me. At all times. Matter of fact, fuck staying away from me, bro. You, me and you just can't make no type of contact at all, bro. Cause why are you why you why do you, why do you, why do your dick get hard off of strangling a motherfucker? Damn near to death, bro. Think about that shit, G. Imagine a motherfucker girl is fighting and they and they and they strangling. This nigga's like, mm, let me get in. Mm. Come on, bro. Like, you're weak, bro. You're weird, bro. Your name is Colton, too. Like, this nigga is literally, this nigga is literally a trench. Like, that sounds like a trench made food. Like, Colton Bill. Like, that sounds like some trench shit, bro. Right? In addition to the probation, he has to complete counseling, drug and alcohol screenings, and perform 200 hours of community service. Some turn to rentahitman.com to kill ex-lovers. Our next individual actually accused her ex of being a Why are y'all white? Why are y'all white? July 7th, Wine completed a form on rentahitman.com and was requesting the assassination of her ex-husband. She reportedly claimed that the man was a pedophile and owed her $20,000. The woman expressed that she was surprised no, that like my teacher service was Chicago Wi-Fi is horrible the normal internet quote Shit. this is kind of weird that your company is not on the deep or dark web after speaking with Wendy under I don't live in persona, Wyoming bro. Bob then contacted authorities informing them of her treachery I'll be Police fine were able to establish a line of communication with Wendy and managed to set up a Maryland. operation with an agent posing as a hitman this undercover cop met with Wendy wine in a parking lot in South Rockwood Michigan and confirmed the woman's murderous intention Shortly after this incident, Wendy was arrested and confessed to her involvement and the communications with rentahitman.com. 
She was charged with solicitation to commit murder and illegal use of a computer to facilitate a crime. In early 2022, a judge was sentenced Wendy to serve 7 to 20 years in prison on both counts. The sentences were being served concurrently. And to round off our motley crew of idiots that have fallen for this Rent-A-Hitman parody website, I'd like to discuss the story of Josiah Garcia. A man who wasn't trying uh. to hire or rent a hitman, he tried to apply for a fucking job. You're yeah. already Mexican. You're already Hispanic, bro. Once you try to hire anything that's legal activities, bro, you're over with, bro. Oh my god. Years old. Just keeping, time, it Just keeping it a buck. Just keeping it a buck. Not even trying to be racist. Of money to support his family. Because I know if though, I did that shit, man, what the hell? Man, Josiah was offering his services. Fuck a hitman, bro. If I was being hitman, nigga, fuck. I'd rather just be in the streets, nigga. I'd rather just be in the streets than fuck around and be a hitman. I'm gonna keep. I'm keeping it a buck. I'm just keeping it a buck. Cause what's the point of me renting to be a hit? I just rather be. I just rather crash out in the streets, bruh. Wait, nah. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. This is a killer. Apparently, Garcia had been scouring the internet for mercenary jobs when he came across Bob's satirical website. Josiah, not detecting the obvious God damn, trap, boy. saw rent fuck a hitman as an employment opportunity Literally. in which he described himself as an expert marksman and that he had a nickname where people called him the reaper josiah would tell the website administrator josiah that he the to reaper work as soon as possible. all my life if i get smoked by this nigga josiah the reaper garcia bro that'll be the day man fuck everything that i've done in this world bro fuck all my streams fuck all my youtube videos fuck everything i've done nigga just perish that bitch like i'm i'm being sold that ass bro if i get nigga if i get caught up if i get lined up by this nigga right here bro and he talking about they come the reaper fool and then he really do that to me bro Finish every man, delete everything about me, bro. Forget there wasn't, forget there was a Kool Aid, a Kool Aid, bro. Just delete me, bro. Like, I'm out of here, please. Quote, I'm looking for a job that pays not, well related to my military experience, shooting and killing the marked target so I can support my kid on the way. What can I say? I enjoy doing what I do. So, if I can find a job that's similar to it, such as this one, put me in, coach. Bob, posing as Guido, continued to pry for information and requested a headshot and photo of Garcia's identification, to which the man reportedly provided. From February 20th to March 13th of 2023, Josiah Garcia allegedly sent multiple follow-up emails to Guido Finelli, aka Bob Ennis. Little did Josiah know, Bob was in touch with the FBI, who had been coordinating I with start him Monday. the scenes. Near the I'm going to miss Bob's you in two weeks. With Josiah Garcia, he sent the following instructions what? to the hitman. What's the, what, what, what Josiah, you starting? A field coordinator will be in touch in the near future. You will receive a message when they are ready. Timing is based on client needs. An FBI agent would pose as someone involved in the operation and conducted a phone interview with Garcia. Mm. According to WKRN, Josiah allegedly told this agent that he was interested in the hitman position because he was in the military and felt that it would be more exciting than civilian law enforcement. Josiah Garcia would later meet with an undercover agent on April 6th of 2023 at a restaurant in Nashville. It's reported that during the meeting, the man continued to demonstrate interest in being a hired killer, and it wasn't long before the ruse of a fake job opening up was deployed. Are we still on and Josiah? In interaction, yes. The man was okay. To have been offered a fake hitman. I'm job seeing. A, I'm seeing a bunch of different. I'm, I'm seeing a bunch of different white niggas, bro. Agent asking him to meet up with someone associated with the mercenary gig in Henry. Andersonville, Tennessee. Josiah would go to this meeting and was reportedly given photographs and false information about a fake target that the FBI had created. Josiah would allegedly accept the kill request and was then immediately arrested Damn. by the FBI. Josiah Garcia has yet to go to trial and is facing up to 10 I years think one day, I think one day I'll fuck up on that. If 12 pull me over and they say turn off the car, I think I'd be like, I right, relax, relax. And turn that bitch off and then my eyes get smoked. But nah, nah, actually nah. But I think I'm gonna be, I think I, think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think I'm straight now. I think I could just fuck around and be like this. This is what I would do. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna, this would be the day I'd be an old head. I'd be like this. I'd be recording on my phone like this. I'd be in that bitch like this. They say, turn off that shit. I'd be like, man, look, you tripping, dog. Hey, you tripping, you tripping. Turn it, do it. You do do it, nigga. You do it. They say, nigga, turn the car off. I'm a man. Y'all see this nigga right here? Ch 
chat. Do y'all see this nigga right here? Man, I, I swear to man, watch when I man. Alright, cool. Watch when I get my lawyer in this motherfucker, you over it. They gonna turn that bitch off. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. Be, I'm, gonna I'm gonna be a walking human. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see another day. And if he's convicted of his alleged crimes, nearly two decades after its creation, people are still falling for Bob Ennis's rentahitman.com creation. Despite this enigmatic web page being covered. But where did that come from, though? Why did I just do that? I really do have ADHD. Cause where did that come from? Oh yeah, that picture of the cop. Okay, by I'm national media on numerous occasions and the overtly satirical nature of the page, some folks out there still find themselves requesting killers through this website. I'm gonna admit, normal way. I'm starting my new job at Walmart. Work in busting these malicious individuals. It's been estimated that dozens of lives have been saved by his work in tandem with law in enforcement. And I can only imagine more that more arrests will be made in the future. What that means? If you wish to support Bob Ennis and his work, I'll have a link in the description to do so. Well, you've made it to the end. Nah, this nigga Let is fat as fuck though. About the rent a hitman .com story. Like you fat as shit though. Like you're not supposed to tell motherfuckers really what rent a hitman supposed to be about though. You just supposed to lead, let it. You just supposed to let it serenade and have niggas just go in that motherfucker and try to rap niggas and then that motherfucker do their job and then they get to. You know what I'm saying?